Yo, what's going on, guys? Crispy Flakes here. So every single season, there are players that are snubbed for the NBA All-Star Game. I mean, the fans, players, and coaches vote for who they want to represent them. And sometimes those players make it, and sometimes there's not enough votes to get them out there. Uh, so for today's video, we are going to be giving the 2019 NBA All-Star snubs a chance to redeem themselves by putting them all on a team and having them go up against the East and West All-Stars to see, man, if they can beat them down a little bit and win themselves a playoff series, a seven-game playoff series to be exact. I do want to know from you guys in the comment section below, who do you think the biggest snubs are of this year? Uh, we are going to go through 10 players. So this was actually posted by ESPN. And also keep in mind, guys, that D'Angelo Russell at the making this video has been voted as the replacement for Victor Oladipo. So he's no longer a snub because he's on the uh, NBA All-Star team. So let's go ahead uh, before we do the simulation and check out some of the players here that were snubbed from the All-Star team. Um, you have Jimmy Butler of the Philadelphia 76ers. So this season putting up 19 points, 5 rebounds, 4 assists. Um, the thing is now it's like he does have Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid to work with. So his numbers are down just a little bit. He's not really asked to do as much out there. His minutes are also down a little bit. Um, if anything, you can say that Jimmy Butler gets frustrated because he wants to do even more out there. So he's a player that in a kind of a weaker Eastern Conference probably should have made the team over some of the other guys out there. But nonetheless, numbers are down just a little bit. Um, next up, I think this is the biggest snub of all, guys, or at least one of them, and that is Tobias Harris. I absolutely love Toby. Um, he is a beast. He is leading this Clippers squad. This, uh, I don't know, man, just like the team is playing amazing in a very stacked conference, and yet Tobias Harris and the Clippers are getting no love whatsoever. This season, 21 points, 8 rebounds, 3 assists, shooting 43% from 3. He's been absolutely fantastic. And he's just getting snubbed yet again. He probably could have made a last for the Detroit Pistons slash Clippers. Uh, next, we do have the Utah Jazz. So, Rudy Gobert. This one's very unfortunate because there are a ton of great centers in the NBA. And uh, Rudy Gobert does not always put up, like, the sexiest stat line because he is more like a defensive-oriented guy out there. More of your traditional center that's just going to catch some lobs and score under the basket. But he's been so important for this Utah Jazz team. His defense has been off the charts as always. And I still think he's a very exciting player to watch. Uh, there's actually a clip of him, I believe it was on Twitter, uh, of him actually crying because he did not make the team. So you know these players, they do care about this. They want to make the All-Star teams. And I'm sure he's probably disappointed because he probably feels like he could have made it a few other times too. But, you know, guys like Carl Anthony Towns, I mean, uh, Jokic, uh, Anthony Davis, those are some very pristine at the cream of the crop as far as centers go. So I would say that's a very tough position to make it these days. And not to mention, man, it's like there's more like guards and forwards that are selected over big guys. Um, and then also a same member of the Utah Jazz team that you could probably call a snub is Donovan Mitchell. So this season, I know we did have a little bit of a struggle to start off, but since then, he's really picked it up. He's at 23 points, which is up from his rookie season. Uh, the rebounds are about the same, but still up. I mean, at least by point one. Um, assists at about four game. Defense has been great. Utah Jazz playing some great basketball, man, at 29-23. Uh, Donovan Mitchell has been great, man. So another player that... He's only 22. He's definitely going to make some all-star teams in his future. We just hope that it's sooner rather than later. Uh, next up, we have the man of the Dallas Mavericks that a lot of people actually did want to see on the all-star team, and that is Luka Doncic, who's just having an historical rookie season. The last rookie to actually make it, I believe, was Blake Griffin. And, I mean, if Luka Doncic is having one of the best rookie seasons, it definitely makes sense that you think he would find his way on the team. Not to mention he's a fan favorite. Uh, the fan vote for him, it, he was like the second or third leading vote guy. So, yeah, uh, 20 points, 7 rebounds, 5 assists on the season, 1 steal per game. Uh, the Dallas Mavericks are, are not really uh, winning a lot of games right now, but at the same time, uh, he's still really exciting to watch. So, I don't know, man. Like, Luka Doncic, I would have liked to see him on the All-Star game, but it is what it is. Okay, next up, we do have Jamal Murray of the Denver Nuggets, the point guard of one of the best teams in the Western Conference, the Denver Nuggets, uh, as a 2 overall in this game, I wouldn't even say he's underrated in 2K, man. He's probably deserves to be like 85, 86 overall. This season, though, having his best scoring year at 19 a game, getting about four or five rebounds, five assists, uh, playing a little bit of defense, and just been pretty consistent out there. He's definitely more of a scoring-oriented point guard, but he's been great for the Denver Nuggets, having his best season, man. I think he definitely deserved an all-star appearance um, over maybe some of the other guys out there. But at the same time, I, it's hard to make a case uh, putting him over a few other guys like, I don't know, man, Stephen Curry, Russell Westbrook, players like that. All right, next up we have uh, Andre Drummond of the Detroit Pistons. So the Pistons are kind of trash this season, but that does not negate the fact that Andre Drummond, uh, his rebounding, he's still the best rebounder in the NBA. 
now i personally don't think the rebounding stat is as important and maybe some people chalk it up to be but he's still having his best season scoring wise at about 17 points per game he's been an all-star in the past with few with uh, with lesser numbers out there i think a lot of it is just because blake griffin made the all-star team um it's really hard to justify putting two players from a losing team in the all-star game so you know if, if i had to choose between andre or blake griffin uh it was definitely going to be blake griffin and then next up we have demar derozan of the san antonio spurs this guy is like king snubbed right here just seems like he's always extremely underrated um yes his scoring is down but that's because of marcus aldridge is having an all-star season he's actually on the all-star team but uh yeah man demar 21 points six rebounds six assists 31 22 record for the san antonio spurs he would have made if he was in the Eastern Conference. I think that is the issue that he is in the Western Conference, which is a lot more stacked these days. So, yeah. Um, and then next, we have Devin Booker. So, look at his stats. Look at look at these numbers, man. How is this not all-star numbers? 25 points, 7 assists, getting 4 rebounds out there. Yes, the 3-point shooting is not as great, but he's uh, scoring in a lot of other different ways. A lot more, like, mature ways out there. And he's really taking his time shooting 46% uh, field goal percentage. I know the team's uh, trash, but damn, give the Phoenix Suns something to root for. It's just Devin Booker's getting overlooked. Uh, you got DeAndre Ayton getting overlooked as far as rookies go just because of Luka Doncic and what he's doing this season. I don't know, man. I mean, I, I know 11 wins on the season doesn't exactly uh, spark all-star, but still, the numbers are there. And finally, we got, this is what I actually added, man, to the team because we, originally it was D'Lo, but he got became an all-star now. So I'm going to say Derrick Rose deserved to be an all-star and that's not just because of the numbers he's putting up this season i mean the numbers are nice 19 points five assists shooting 42 percent from three but just the just the story what it said man just the message it would have sent to everybody around the world that is fans of the game of basketball and that is when you get shot down when you are told you're no longer gonna be in the nba when you have three four five six seven bitch ass injuries out there don't give up and you can succeed and become the all-star you once was because derrick rose did it man i wanted to see derrick rose out there i just thought it would have been so great just such a cool moment for the nba for derrick rose to just be called as an all-star and go into the game but yeah man end of rant right there end of rant right there uh, but all right, man, so I'm going to go ahead and I'll jump cut over to a series, uh, a, a simulation. We're going to do a seven-game series between the All-Stars, and we're going to see how this goes. I mean, my guess is that Team Giannis and Team LeBron both still uh, get to, like, the finals of this. But who knows, man? Maybe these teams will give them a run for their money. Okay, so here we go. On the left side, we do have Snub Team 1 against, that is going to be Team LeBron. On the right side, it's going to be Team Giannis uh, against Snub Team 2. Um, I did not split up the team because the draft is not happening at the making of this video. So it is just going to be the east side against the west side as far as the players go. And then the uh, the, the teams we're using because there were more Western Conference snubs. Um, it's going to be a mix of teams out there. So for this side, we do have D. Rose, Donovan Mitchell, Jimmy Butler, Tobias Harris, Rudy Gobert. Those, of course, are all Western Conference players. Uh, you get over here, we got Team Giannis with Kyrie, Kemba, Kawhi, Giannis, Joel Embiid. And then we got snub Team 2 with Jamal, Booker, DeRozan, Don Chich, and Andre Drummond. So, honestly, the, the only snub we're seeing here is Andre Drummond from the Eastern Conference. So, he was tossed over here on this squad. And then you got Team LeBron over here with Curry, Harden, Paul George, Durant, and LeBron James. Uh, that is the team I am probably going to say is win, but I, I, I like this team right here, man. Snub team, too. It was actually really hard to get to the simulation moment, though, because the uh, the snub teams, they actually could not get to the conference finals. They were really struggling, and, and they were losing, like, the Boston Celtics and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, man, let's go ahead and simulate the current round right here just because I want to get to the actual finals here and see what happens. Uh, looks like both teams are probably... Oh, we got one game for the snub team too. Okay, well, snubs team two are the first to go. And oh my God, guys, the snub team one just beat team LeBron. Oh my God. I was, I, I, I was not expecting this. I was expecting going to go into this video and it was just going to be team LeBron against team Giannis unbelievable man yo derrick rose 26 points this is nuts derrick rose dropped 40 points guys in that first game game two we got 28 and 13 for jimmy butler game three uh yo let me go back to game three my bad my bad game three looking like this 32 for mitchell with a 19 rebound game for rudy gobert game four 46 for mitchell triple double for jimmy butler 25 rebounds for uh rudy gobert in game five, we got Mitchell dropping 41, 32 for Derrick Rose. Uh, game six looking like this. And game seven over here with 28 for Tobias Harris, winning 121 to 117. Oh my, oh my, I'm just, you guys can see it in my voice. I'm freaking speechless. 
like i was not expecting this at all wow dude this is crazy man anything is possible I thought Team LeBron was going to sweep everybody. But here we go. We do have Team Giannis against Snub Team 1. Uh, let's go ahead and simulate this game by game. So we can simulate game 1. That goes to Team Giannis. I mean, they might just win now. But it's still a miracle they even got this far. Simulate the next game. Yeah, 2-0 for them. There we go. Simulate the next one. And 3-0. Well, it's not looking too good now. But probably used up all their energy in that game there. Simulate game. Um, all right. So Team Giannis does win 4 games to 0 with Joel Embiid getting the finals mvp man but i'm still so shocked about this that was that was that was a cool moment that was definitely a cool moment as far as crispy flakes video history goes but yeah hope you guys all enjoyed this video i just really wanted a chance to talk about the snubs and stuff like that so like i was saying let me know in the comment section below uh who are your snubs and keep in mind over on my second channel extra crispy link in the description below uh, i talk about this stuff all the time i mean talk about the all-star game i've been doing a ton of videos about it just nba news so uh be sure to check out that guys if you want some more crispy videos but yeah man thank y'all so much for watching me should drop that like subscribe if you're new to my channel and peace out my friends